I listen to a lot of music. It's kind of part of my job. Now, I mostly listen to music from the last five to maybe 10 years. You know, I'm Gen Z. I'm not going to pretend to be an old head who knows every single lyric from the 15th track off the second Tribe Called Quest album, but sometimes I'm in the mood for a classic. And there's almost no album that defines classic better than Illmatic, from the music itself all the way down to even the album's cover. This project set such a high standard for the power of storytelling in hip hop. Honestly, it's one of the most influential hip hop records ever. There's no doubt about it. But beyond the beats, the lyrics, and flows, Illmatic's cover set even one more standard that you might not notice unless you dig a little deeper. It seems like a pretty simple cover at first. It's just a film photo of a baby superimposed over a city street with some text on top. But Illmatic's cover art was so good and so well fit the spirit of the music that we still see its influence going strong today, 27 years later. First, let's look at the story behind Illmatic. Nas grew up in the Queensbridge projects in the Long Island City neighborhood of Queens in New York City. The Queensbridge houses are the largest public housing project in North America, with 96 buildings, 3,000 units, and a total capacity of over 7,000 people. Growing up in an all-encompassing environment of poverty described as a dystopian underworld, experiencing unprecedented carnage, Nas was heavily influenced by these things from a young age. But rather than succumb to the pressures of his outside world, Nas became the gold standard of storytelling in hip-hop. He wrote Illmatic as a teenager, and its storyline came from his personal experiences, a life shaped by gang rivalries, urban desolation, and the drug and violence epidemic that wreaked havoc in New York City during the 80s and early 90s. During an interview, Nas said, When I made Illmatic, I was a little kid in Queensbridge trapped in the ghetto. My soul was trapped in those projects. The kid on that cover is really a photo of Nas at seven years old. It was taken by his own dad. It's superimposed over a photo of a city block, most likely in the Queensbridge projects. It represents the idea that kids are vulnerable, they're innocent, and they have to be protected from outside pressures. Kids represent the potential that comes with life. For Nas, this was freedom from the life he was born into. With the album, Nas illustrated the struggle and pain of living in the ghetto. And with the album cover, he gave the listener a perfect image of what that felt like. In this quote, Nas explains why he picked a picture of him at seven. He says, that was the year I started to acknowledge everything around me. That's the year everything set off. That's the year I started seeing the future for myself and doing what was right. The ghetto makes you think, the world is ours. I used to think I couldn't leave. The project used to be my world until I educated myself to see there's more out there. In 2012, he said, when my rap generation started, it was about bringing you inside the apartment. It wasn't about being a rap star. It wasn't about being anything other than who I am. I wanted to tell you what the streets taste like, feel like, and smell like. What the cops talk like, walk like, and think like. What the crackheads do. I wanted you to smell it and feel it. It was important to me that I told the story that way because I thought it wouldn't be told if I didn't tell it. I thought this was a great point in time in the 1990s in New York City that needed to be documented and my life needed to be told. And Illmatic may be the first example of a hip-hop album with a baby photo as the cover art, but it certainly wasn't the last. Ever since Nas did it first, the motif of baby photos has become a prevailing trend in hip-hop for a good reason. It communicates a powerful message. Not even a year later, Biggie released Ready to Die, another gritty record from New York with an innocent baby looking off into the distance on a white background. This baby wasn't connected to Biggie at all. It was just a random kid. But the message still comes across. At the core of Ready to Die was a child who wanted to be a better son to his mother. He was tired of the harsh world around him. It reminds us of where we come from and how much potential we all have to change the world around us. Nas started the trend and Biggie followed suit. But ever since then, countless artists like Kendrick, J. Cole, Lil Wayne, Drake, Baby Keem, SZA, DJ Mustard, The Baby, Kodak Black, Lil Baby, XXXTentacion, and many others have all featured baby photos as cover art for their projects. Lil Wayne's The Carter Three, by far one of the most famous baby photo albums covers features Wayne as a small kid with photoshopped tattoos. The record mixes a serious and comedic tone throughout, and it shows through on the cover as well. It's become one of Wayne's most iconic images. Kendrick Lamar's Good Kid Mad City is a concept album that tells the story of a teenage Kendrick making his way through the drug-infested streets and rivalries of Compton, his hometown. The cover features Kendrick as a child, surrounded by family members with their eyes crossed out. Good Kid Mad City is a story all about Kendrick's journey to manhood through one of the toughest cities in America, and the cover is a reminder of where that journey started. The cover of Illmatic is just as simple. It's just a kid superimposed onto a city block with text on top. But despite its simplicity, the message was powerful enough to start a trend that would transcend generations. It brought strong imagery and emotion to the art of album covers. By using a baby photo to represent their album, an artist's story can be made even more powerful and relatable. Unlike cover stories I've told before, there's no huge budget for this album cover. No world-famous fine artist like Takashi Murakami or David LaChapelle or George Kondo was hired to craft a high production value 
highbrow art piece. And to me, that's the most important thing here. This isn't the type of story that you would hang in an art gallery, and neither is the cover art. It's literally just a photo of Nas in his own element taken by his dad. Back in 2013, one music critic described Elmatic as the story of a gifted writer born into squalor, trying to claw his way out. They called him a baby-faced Buddha monk in public housing, scribbling dreams and grim reaper nightmares in dollar notebooks, words and jammed in their margins. The only light is the orange glow of a blunt, bodega liquor, and the adolescent rush of first creation. Sometimes his pen taps the paper and his brain blanks, and in the next sentence, he remembers dark streets and the noose. Another writer said the songs are made up largely of recollections or Nas describing his emotions, which range from feeling trapped to overt optimism about his abilities to escape the hands of doom, but they always remain within the walls of Queensbridge. Eventually Nas did escape. He's a multi-millionaire music legend these days, one of the most influential rappers alive, but he didn't know about that when he was writing and recording Illmatic. Back then, the odds were stacked so high against him, his most likely fate was to stay in the streets of Queensbridge for the rest of his life. But his gift for storytelling lifted him out of those streets forever, and there was no better way to represent that than a photo of him at seven years old in the very streets where he grew up. This has been Volksgeist. Thank you for watching.